If you're going to be implementing your own PKI, it's going to take a lot of planning to begin with. You'll want to research a lot of different PKI software, understand the process you want to have in place. It may start just as you needing a single certificate for a single web server. But I assure you, once you start building these out and your organization gets bigger, you will probably need many, many, many more of those created. And therefore, you're going to need a very, very specific process in place to be able to provide that capability for the rest of the organization. You're going to need to do encryption with third parties. You'll have documents that you'll need to have digitally signed. There will be many, many more web servers and email servers and hard drive encryption certificates you'll need. So if you plan ahead, you'll be in good shape when all of these things suddenly appear. On my Windows Server, I can give you a feel for what some people will do when they're managing their particular public key infrastructure. I'm going to run the Microsoft Management Console. I'm just going to hit Enter and show you how this would be if you started from the very beginning. Under the File pull-down menu, I'm going to add or remove a snap-in. And one of the options that I have here is for certificates. So let's add certificates. And we're going to add certificates for my user account. I'm logged in as an administrator. So that's the one that we'll set to be able to use that that set of certificates plugin. And here it is. If I click on this, you can see all of these different certificates that could be built out from this front end. So if I wanted to build a personal certificate, if I wanted an enterprise trust certificate, if I wanted an Active Directory user object certificate, you have different options depending on what you're building out and what you're creating. So here's a personal certificate. I could go over to the More Actions, and I can do other things. I could find certificates, request a new one. Let's do that. Let's request a new certificate so you can see the process you would have to go through. You you don't have to necessarily know the details of this for your Security Plus exam, but I think it's useful to understand the types of things you would, you would see day to day if you were managing and administering this. Let's do the Active Directory enrollment policy to create this certificate. And you can choose an administrator certificate, one that's a user cert. Let's do that one, the user certificate. There's many, many more templates here. If I click that, I can show you all of these other certs. I have not enabled all of these other certificates on this particular server, though. So we'll create a user certificate. And I'm going to click Enroll. And it says the status has succeeded and that I've created one. It, the key usage will be for digital signature and key encipherment. This will have certain application policies associated with it. And automatically, it is valid for 365 days. Now the administrator can go to their front end, see the request that I've made for this certificate, and then check in with me and confirm that I was the person that put that in, and then can approve that or can reject that certificate. And then that certificate will be sent to me, and I can use it to do the things that I need to be able to digitally sign or encrypt the documents I'm going to use in this environment.